Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 15th of 2023. Well, it is titled an eclipse tree. So what do we see here? Well, this is images of an eclipse. And in fact, this is the eclipse that just occurred this previous day, just one day ago. And we're seeing it here, not looking at the sky, but by looking at the ground. Now, how can we see the eclipse when looking at the ground? Well, essentially, when you're looking at through all the leaves of the tree, act like a whole bunch of little cameras, what we call a pinhole camera. And that allows the light to come through and shows multiple images of the partially eclipsed sun. So here you can see that sliver, that crescent of sunlight that is making through, that is making it through the trees. And you see many, many images of it here because of all of the different the leaves in the trees and how they're moving and the little bit of gaps in between them make all these different pinholes and create essentially act as a little lens and create images of the sun that is visible then on the ground. Now this was an image taken in Texas and many people in that part of the country were able to see a partial eclipse of the sun. If you were in just the right area, you actually got an annular or ring of fire eclipse, which occurs when the moon is just a little bit too small to completely block out the sun and leaves a, a little ring of sunlight, a complete ring of sunlight around the moon. So if that were the case here, you'd see all sorts of little circles here on the in the on the ground. Now we have another eclipse coming up and that would be on April the 8th. And in fact, that is a much deeper total eclipse that will go across Mexico, parts of Mexico, the United States and Canada. Now in that case, the moon will be a little closer to Earth and will appear larger in the sky and will be able to fully block out the sun, giving us a total solar eclipse in that case. So if you are in the right location on that eclipse path, you would see the moon completely block out the sun, making it dark during the middle of the day. So that is something to look forward to just a little less than six months from now, when we will have the solar eclipse that will occur on April the 8th visible across again Mexico, and up through Texas and up, up coming out over Canada and the northeastern part of the United States. So something here to look forward to in just a few months. So that was our picture of the day for October 15th of 2023. It was titled an eclipse tree. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be eclipse sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.